In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and get a list of dates that have been assigned inside your course using the date management tool. So in your course menu, you're going to scroll down on your screen to the section for course management, and you're going to expand the course tools and go down and you're going to click on date management. All right, you have a couple options. One of the things you can do is give it a start date for the course, and it will try and adjust all your dates based on the start date. Um, it, I've also tried um, the adjust by number of days. That works okay, but I still had to manually um, change the dates on many dates because the um, between fall and spring, your breaks were at different dates, the holidays mess things up. So I just found it easier to get a full list of all the dates assigned to my course and manually adjust them. So what I would recommend is using the list all dates for review and hit start. It's going to run through. You're going to get an email once the um, progress is, is finished. And then you just have to hit next. And it will list out all dates that have been assigned to everything with inside your course. Okay. Now, um, I prefer not to look at um, announcements because that's a big part of my course. Um, because I set all my announcements to end either the week that the announcement is going out or by the end of the class. So that way I don't have to worry about turning any dates off or changing any dates on announcements. Um, so what I do is I come up to the top here and do select options and I'll check all and that selects everything and then if I go back in I can turn off the announcements. Now if you want to you can tell it just to show you assignments or discussions, learning modules which would be like my content areas and then my manually graded columns. So um, I just turn the announcements off and this will show me the due dates and the start dates and the end dates, which would basically be your open and close dates um, for um, assignments or content areas or folders or anything like that. So if you did want to try and adjust by um, a specific number of days, you can select multiple assignments, go to adjust dates, and this will actually ask you to do it by number of days. So if you know the number of days that that set of assignments um, was due, um, you can roll that over all at once. And again, I found it was easier just to adjust them um, individually. So I'm going to cancel that. All right, so what you can do is come over to the pencil over on the right hand side and it shows the one date that was associated with that course. So you could go in and you can use the calendar here and advance to the new date, select the new date, hit done, and then hit the green check mark and this will update the new date and it will let you know that that's been updated. So you could then just keep going in and making changes. Now I have set up my course to make it easier for myself so that everything that is in module one is labeled as module one. So it makes it easier for me to identify which ones are for what module. That way when I can do, go in and change the dates I can change them all at the same time and, and I know exactly what date they are going to be due and when they're opening and closing. Okay. If you don't have a date set already, you'd have to go back to the content area and set a date um, or it won't show up in here. And if you edit it, it won't let you add anything in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the green check mark. Now when you're all done, um, you they're automatically updated every time you, you do one. So you can see which ones have been updated here. Okay, if you want to have it redo all the dates and make sure everything's okay, you can hit refresh dates and it automatically will run back through it again and update any dates in there just to make sure that everything is set. And that's one way that you can go in and adjust the dates. That will eliminate you having to go into each um, learning module, going into each item and editing them and then see what the dates are in there, if there are any dates associated with it. So the date manager will pull up anything that you've associated any dates with inside your course, whether it be a due date or an open and close date for the item. Okay, so this way it puts everything in one area for you to go in and edit. Okay, 
So that's how you can go in and run your date manager and edit all your due dates and open and close dates in your course.